Well, she's being called the James Harden of women's hoops. And if you've watched Washington's Kelsey Plum, well, you understand why. The senior has broken one record after another and just last week became the first player ever, man or woman, to break the 3,000 points mark in the Pac-12 and becomes just the 12th player in all of college basketball on the women's side, of course, in history to do so. Plum said she was raised in a family where if you want something in life, you've got to take it. And now Mike Yam shares with us how the guard from Poway, California has done just that. Yep. You ready? Oh shoot, ah! Man, me and you suck today. Ari, do you remember on main court we did this drill and I got like 69? Yeah, I killed it, I beat the record, I know I did, yes. You have no faith in me. <laughs> To learn how Kelsey Plum became the Pac-12's all-time leading scorer, it helps to understand a key aspect of her personality. Come on, come on. Hit this. Atta girl. Kelsey Plum is not afraid to take a chance. Her methodical decision-making and willingness to chart her own path has catapulted her from a top high school recruit to one of the best players in the country. You know, I come from a volleyball family. You know, my mom played volleyball in college. My two older sisters played volleyball. And I was just like, Bleh. like, let's do something different. Kelsey's journey to the University of Washington began four years ago when former head coach Kevin McGuff came to then assistant Mike Neighbors with a recruiting prospect from San Diego. I was kind of the X and O in the gym with the kids all the time, behind the scenes guy. I wasn't really very active in recruiting. I remember I got the name and I was like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants Kelsey Plum. But it was Neighbors recruiting technique that helped Plum realize Washington might be the right place. I think she kind of appreciated the not recruiting talk. You know, some kids like to be recruited and other kids like to be coached. Well, she wanted to be coached. We knew she was re being recruited by all the other people that had been going to the NCAA tournaments during those years, and we didn't have that to sell. Uh, we had a, a little bit of a vision and a little bit of a dream, and uh, I think she also bought into that. I did get a lot of backlash and heat for uh, choosing Washington, especially because they weren't top of the pack or they hadn't been in the tournament in like 10 years. I wanted to do something different. Most players, they don't take a chance and I just said, you know what, why not? Neighbors was named head coach just before Plum's freshman season. Together, they faced the challenge of rebuilding the Husky program. Go, go, go screen, screen, get to it, just chase them. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the harder it was, the more she thrived. Uh, you know, we named her a freshman captain. Uh, she called it social suicide, and she was right. And I was like, what? You know, I just, I'm, how, like, who would listen to that? Who would listen to that? They don't know where class is. Sit down, hands up, hands up, hands up! I got gap, I got gap, I got gap! For us to do the things and be on the competitive stage nationally, there was no other way for us to go about getting it done. It helped me grow up fast. You know, it's kind of like you throw someone in the fire, they gotta come figure out how to come out, and that's what happened. This is like a once-in-a-lifetime player. The numbers that Kelsey Plum has put up are astounding. This young woman is special, folks. She could be the best ever. Balling is a habit, huh? Plum's decision to play at the University of Washington ended up being the right one for her. The young Huskies found fast success, reaching heights few could have imagined. The Washington Huskies, for the first time in program history, going to the Final Four. A lot of people that have names on the top of record lists that weren't on Final Four teams or weren't on teams that turned a program that was winning eight, nine, ten games total to a team that now everybody expects us to win every game. Uh, I think that's a pretty big legacy. A big part of Plum's legacy was cemented on December 11th, 2016. Kelsey Plum and a little bit of a smile on her face as she has just become the all-time leading scorer in the Pac-12 Conference. But it's a record Kelsey admits she's thought little about. For Plum, personal achievements come second. I don't want to be remembered for the points. But at the end of the day, be that kid that's remembered by a, you know, you watch Plum play? Gosh, that was fun to watch. Like, you see your team? Like, oh my gosh. That's the reaction I'd like to get. Not like, you know, oh, how many did she score tonight? Every, ooh, that's nice. See that? Flick that. This is not a one-man show. I think a lot of people miss out with her, how grateful she is about it. It's my job to thank them about, like, this is 
Like, this is you guys. Good pass, coach. Terms like greatest of all time can be uncomfortable for Plum to hear. She's a player with much bigger goals in mind. You know, I have seen what people say, and um, it is cool, but I, I think uh, I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so yeah, we went to the Final Four, but we didn't win it. Yeah, I scored the most points in the Pac-12, but I've never won a championship. It's a lot of unfinished business. 